Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the Nutsack Tactical Sling Bag. I got this from Nutsack from Matt for review. And we have the black edition model here that features a 1000D Tactical Cordura fabric. Dimensions are going to be 3.5 inches by 11.5 inches by 8 inches. And its weight is going to be 1 pound 7 ounces. The capacity of the sling is about 5.276 liters. Features a detachable sling, which you can also attach to the other side of the pack. Has several different pockets. One on the outside, a slip pocket on the inside, and a molly webbing arrangement on the inside as well. And it features several different zippered YKK zippers, which allow for different entry points into the pack itself. Here we can see the sling bag here on the front. We have the Nutsack logo here in black on the front bottom section. We have a zippered pocket here on the outside with a cover that goes over the zipper. It kind of keeps most of the dirt out of it and some of the water. This bag is water resistant. It's not waterproof. However, it does a good job of keeping out the rain as I've used this in several conditions in the rain recently. We have the YKK zippers with leather pull tabs on it, which makes a great gripping point for pulling the zipper. And we have several of them on the front here. We have one on the side here, another one on this side here. And then we have two at the top here, which you can kind of see on the camera. So this allows for you to access your bag in several different positions without having to open the main zipper pouch, which is kind of a, a good thing in my opinion for quick access. There's pros and cons to that, but we'll get into that in a moment. The YKK zippers function and run fairly smoothly on this bag. On the back side here, we have the D-ring attachments on either side of the bag here for attaching our strap with the leather kind of or rather the metal type holders here and we have these little stitched leather parts here on the strap the strap is pretty decent quality material it's nice and long run it does feature a small d-ring here on the strap where you can attach things to it like quick access items which is something that i like in my sling bags personally we do have a holder here for the extra material and this can come off if you want to you can't see it too well on the camera but it's got a little hook here that hooks into this tab when you get the bag you just got to hook that into that little tab there and it bites in and then it's secured into the bag now we have the top handle here with a nice leather type of sewing on it material on it so it's good for gripping and moving around and this is the bag itself which is pretty soft it's a little bit padded on the back here not too padded but it does have some kind of padding on the back which makes it comfortable to ride along your back Going back to the front, we can get into what I carry into it. This has been configured as my daily EDC carry for the past almost two weeks now that I've had this bag. And I've been taking it to work, out on hiking, and on radio operations, actually. And we were doing the 13 Colonies, my brother and I, this past week. It's a HF radio special event. And I had this bag with me, and we were kind of just out on the hiking trails a little bit. And it worked perfectly for that. It doesn't draw too much attention unlike my other sling bags it's nice and sleek and it's relatively not too horizontally thick more on the vertical side of thickness which is fine so let's get into it i'm not going to go over everything in depth just what i generally carry in this bag so you unzip the front here and the front slip pouch we have my phone and i also keep a bandana on the front here for quick access so it's just some stuff I tend to keep in the bag in the front for quick access. And that's it for the front zipper pouch as it's not too roomy, but it's roomy enough to keep my Note 9 Samsung with the external battery on it. The Zero Lemon 5000 milliamp hour external attached battery. Moving along, we do have the zippers that we can access from the front here. This kind of opens up in a half clamshell format. And on the inside, we have a pocket here, a slip pocket which runs the whole entire gamut of the front pouch. I just keep a very few things in here, mainly my keys, my key fob for my car, house keys. I have an Olight i one or two EOS mini pill light, rechargeable micro USB. And then we have a Victorinox midnight manager with the red LED. This has a mini pen in it, and it also has a variety of screwdrivers, mainly the 3D screwdriver combo tool in it and your fair assortment of scissors and a flat or a slotted screwdriver in there as well as a nice little blade moving along 
and we do have a bag that holds my charging cable for my skill hunt light which we'll go over in a moment i have in the main compartment here hand sanitizer and then i also have in the main compartment my wallet this has been an experiment for a while I've been using this wallet since the fall and technically it's not made for summer carry or late spring carry or early fall carry. It's made for the colder months in which a wallet of this size would go into a coat pocket. But I've been trying to kind of push the limits of this and put it into all my EDC kits to see how it works. And it's been working out fairly decently from what I predicted. So this is the Roaring Fire Pico Fire EDC pouch, the first version which has these credit card slots here, which make for a perfect wallet setup. And this is just my basic wallet. Got a bunch of items in here, multi-tools, lights, credit cards, money, ID, and a mesh pouch for a bunch of random other items in there. So that is my wallet. I'm not gonna go into depth with that. I've been over it numerous times with the other videos previous. So I keep my wallet in there and we'll come up to the light that I have in here. I got this for review also from Killzone Flashlights, which I just finished making a video about. This is the Skill Hunt M200 version 3. It's 18650 light, and it works fairly well. So I attached that via the pocket clip here to the Molly Pals webbing on the inside of the pouch there. And finally, last but not least, I keep a bag within a bag, if that makes any sense. This is my VanQuest EDCM pouch. This is the EDCM Husky 2.0 and this is the core kit one of the core kits that I carry around and on the outside we have a slip pouch webbing uh, on the back here and we also have cordage on the back and we also have extra cordage hanging off in a hank in the back as well I always carry some sort of core kit with me and this is one of the main ones that I have inside I have my basic array of things like a light lighter hand sanitizer O pen 2 pen light combo we have a leatherman sidekick in the center here when we have a victorinox midnight ch mini champ the first version of it or at least a modification on it and we have a water filter a bunch of charging cables we have some deet fresnel lens multiple ways of starting fire via the ferro rod lighter and we have even a toothbrush if we have to stay overnight somewhere in the back here i do have an emp bag with my Yesu VX1R, solo charger, extra batteries and lights as well, and a bunch of other items in these other pouches underneath here, including a one liter dry bag to fill up with water. Basically, I have a bunch of these core kits in various configurations and various bags. I've done several videos on these types of bags for the channel, if you're curious about what I load out entirely with them. But I'm not going to go into depth with that. Just know that that's what I carry inside the nutsack, tack sack or rather not the tack sack but the sling pouch and i do have another little sling on here an umbro strap that i can carry this on my persons if i can't carry this bag with me so that's pretty much all i carry in the nutsack sling bag and this is the inside here i don't know if you guys can see that on the camera pretty well but we can see the rows of poly molly pals webbing you have one, two, three, four, five here, and several different columns going down where you can attach items like that light. And it's like a cotton material on the inside with a water repellent type of fabric. We have the slip pouch here, which you can put anything you want in that. And that's it. Very basic, very simplistic, which is why I like this sling bag a lot compared to another bag, which I run. This is my trap tack. And I've been using this for many years now. And it's a fantastic bag. It's a little bit different than the sling bag. And much less expensive also. But it does draw a lot of attention. And it's got a lot more horizontal push. So I tend to hit things on this part of the bag. And the way I've configured it. It tends to be a little bit bulky in that sense. Although not as much vertically. But it does work and does get the job done however the nutsack bag is a very premium quality item it's made in america and the bags are coming from florida from what i understand and it definitely has a good premium feel to it with the thousand d cordor 
fabric on it. And I did mention before, it is water resistant. So it's not fully waterproof, but I've taken this out in rain and all my stuff has remained dry in it. So I know it works fairly well. And I know that these flaps that cover the ingress points for water will work pretty well at keeping water out. The only issue that you could possibly run into is that since there's so many zipper points, there's other ingress points for this to potentially be open to allow water into. So there's a lot of pros with it. The strap is good quality. It's lightweight, functions well. It's got this nice D-ring in the front of the strap where you can hold stuff on the front part for easy access, like a cell phone pouch holder or something or a multi-tool. I typically keep, keep multi-tool or radio on the front. You can switch the orientation of your strap from lefty to righty if you want, depending on how you want to carry it. It's a small profile. It doesn't draw too much attention as it doesn't look very tactical, even though that's what it says. And that's why I like it a lot, because people don't assume that I have all this crazy stuff in the bag when I wear something like this, as opposed to wearing my trap tack here. My trap tack looks very tactical, if you will, or at least in that vein, so it draws a lot of attention. I think that's where the allure is with this pack, is that it functions excellent. It has a good way of being stealthy about what you're carrying. And it is minimalistic to the degree where it's very practical and functional. And it forces you to carry just the bare essentials. In my case, I overstuffed my packs, which is a user error. So I don't blame the bag for that at all. But it works for what I'm doing and what I'm using it with. The nice thing about it is that it's made in the U.S. And you can get U.S. support with it. I believe there's a certain kind of warranty with it that you get if you buy it from the main website. Again, this was sent out from Nutsack to me for review. Overall, I, I would recommend it. I just want you guys to know that it was sent out for review. It's definitely something of quality. And you can get a wax canvas, for, canvas version of this, which I particularly like. But I'm actually liking the Cordura quite a lot. And the material is very strong and rugged, and it works fairly well. Some of the cons of it, I would say, are there's no extra strap to kind of connect three points like in some bags they have a strap that attaches to this point i suppose you can attach it to this d-ring and would stabilize the bag for you so it doesn't sling around in front of you if you're doing some serious work or running or something like that so something like a security strap would be kind of cool to have with it but you can probably buy one, an extra strap on ebay for a cheap price and put it to this gear and make it work for you the other thing is that for a security risk when you have this zipped up People can access these pockets fairly easily. So you want to make sure you're carrying your bag in front of you if it's a high risk environment, or at least be aware that people can easily open these up and access what you want and that water can get into these zippered areas. And that's all I got to say for cons on the pack. Uh, other than that, my uses of it, it's a fantastic item. And that's all I have to say about the Nutsack tactical sling bag in black once again thank you to nutsack for sending this out for review matt i appreciate it hope you guys had a better view and understanding of the sling bag if you're looking to get it i do have an affiliate link with matt and you can click on that and use that if you like if not no problem thank you for watching and enjoy your day